Hello, you beautiful people. It's Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope y'all five senses work. Enjoy the Sunday. Don't think about Monday. Enjoy today. Anyway, you know one thing I like about America? They give you options to make your life better. So, you know, you, you got you to gotta create your own opportunities out here. I just seen this thing. I'm thinking about to get. I need. I need to get a, a certification in cloud storage. So you know, I've been reading these books, upgrading and repairing servers. You know, uh, you know, upgrading and repairing network. You know. And then there's this one from Mike from Mike Mears that I've been reading. You know, Security Plus. So yeah, you know, I just keep my keep myself busy. <clears throat> I read it. I read it to make to learn about things. And if I want to go take a certification, certification test, that's on me. But anyway, <laughs> um, <clears throat> we talk. <clears throat> what, what's what's this video about? We talk about uh, PlayStation. Now, <clears throat> if you've been playing video games since uh, since the 8-bit Nintendo days or, or or before that, you know that every time a new console generation comes out, games get bigger stories get bigger environments get bigger everything about everybody everything about video games get bigger but one thing about one thing that get that continuously get bigger in video games is the cost of making the game you know it's the co it's the co it's the cost of making the game so every time every time a new console generation comes out you know the, the, everything about video games get big and then the costs get bigger you know, <clears throat> storage get bigger, processing power get bigger, graphics get bigger, everything about gaming get big. And one thing about video games, they're, ex I mean, they cost money to make. So, <clears throat> this should be nothing new to people. Just found this article today on, uh, what's this, Euro Eurogamer.net. Listen to this. This talking about, this, this is, this is, this is with, uh, former, uh, PlayStation boss, uh, Sean Layden, listen, listen to what he says. Hmm. Says here, ex PlayStation boss predicts Sony PS5 games will cost 200 million to make. 200 million dollars to make. That's the price of video games. If you want to play games, you gotta pay. Just like I made the the video about uh, Bungie charging people about charging people for the expansions in video games. Okay, we don't mind paying. We don't mind paying for it. You should have been. They should have been charged us for those expansions since 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 Destiny One. But anyway, it says here again. Ex PlayStation boss predicts Sony PS5 games will cost 200 million to make. That's the price of video games, folks. Anyway, if we can't stop the cost curve from going up, all we can do is try to to. You no, know, if we can't stop the cost curve from going up. All we can do is try to de-risk it. <laughs> anyway, article goes like this. For, the former boss of PlayStation has predicted PS5 games will cost $200 million to make. Sean Layden, who held various executive roles at PlayStation before leaving in October 2019, told Bloomberg the cost of video game development doubles every platform. That shouldn't be, that, that shouldn't be nothing new. It's been like that, you know, you know. But anyway, budgets for PlayStation 4 games Layden spearhead each hit 100 million. And Bloomberg reports Layden predicts PS5 games will cost 200 million to make and prices will only increase from here. Big game companies will combat this exponential development cost by employing a de-risk strategy. Layden suggests which in turn caused a AAA publisher to become incentivized towards sequels. Bloomberg points to the publisher chasing uh, trends, quoting Layden as saying, what happens there is you end up with three to four s silos of games or game types that continue to exist and varieties, var varieties is squeezed out. Sony is working on a raft of big budget sequel for PS5, although most 
are cross-gen titles that also have PS4 uh, version. Titles include Gorilla Horizon Forbidden West, Polygon's Gran Turismo 7, and the next God of War from Sony Santa Monica. And it says here, meanwhile, <clears throat> it, oh, by the way, it has a video of Grant, it has a trailer in this article. I'm going to leave a dis link in the description box. It has a trailer of Gran Turismo 7. <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, Dev, Days Gone developer Ben Studios is working on a new IP and Uncharted and the Last of Us developer Naughty Dog is working on a standalone multiplayer game as well as reportedly a remake of Last of Us. Bloomberg did question Layden about his own role in the creation of this sustainability issue. While at PlayStation, after all, the former exec was chairman of Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios up to late 2019, before which PlayStation had released a number of eye-catching PS4 exclusives, such as Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, Days Gone, and of course Marvel Spider-Man. <laughs> I think I contributed to a... I think I contributed a part into showing the world that what amazing gameplay can look like, Layden responded. Sony is of course set to unveil a look into the future of PS5 this week during a PlayStation Showcase live stream that features new news from, not new, <laughs> from PlayStation Studios as well as some of the industry most imaginate imagine <laughs> wait a minute imaginative uh, developers <laughs> one on games released this year and beyond and they got and in this article there's 66 comments so you know people are uh, you, you, you know you, you know people are commenting on this so anyway look games are gonna cost you want to play you want to play games man they're gonna cost you you know that's just the way it is the cost I mean you got to pay the employees all the time they put into creating the game for overtime and all um, you gotta pay for advertising and all that so games are gonna cost but the point is that every console generation games get bigger they take a longer to make and they cost more so this that's just the world of video games for you and you always hear people complaining about well uh, they were talking about they were talking about file sizes and file sizes is too big you know, and they're talking about oh, increase part of the game just to play. That ruins that ruins the uh, ruin that ruins the game when you just install part of the game and just play it, it versus just installing the whole thing and just play it, whatever it's single player, multiplayer, or co-op. But um, games are expensive and they are um, they cost money. So that's just the way it is in video games, and um, that's just the way it's gonna be. You have to put, you gotta pay to play. That's just the way it is. You want to, you know, video games are part of your recreation and entertainment, so you have to pay to play, you know. And like I did a video about two days ago, a couple days ago, when Bungie finally decide to start charging for their expansions when they should have charged for their expansions on Destiny 2 from the very beginning, instead of making it free in the uh, in the PlayStation 4 store, and the, um, I mean, I mean, charge for the expansion. They made the base game free, but the expansions you got to pay for. So they should have been charged for the expansions since day one. So that's just the way it is, you know. Um, what Sean Layden is saying is is true. It's gonna it's gonna continue to go up, but there's no in video games. There's no cutting corners. You can't cut corners. You got you got you got to see that project all the way through. And if it's gonna if if it's gonna cost more to make games, then we got to pay more to play. And that's just the the way it is <laughs> I got 66 comments here and um people are going off on these comments this is from Eurogamer and um wow and these are <laughs> some of these comments are like <laughs> like three to four paragraphs man they're, they're they, they, they these these fans are commenting they say <laughs> oh my god look at this <sighs> yeah there's some serious comments in here man they say one 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 person said the reason why I disagree with this is that big AAA games are one of the main things that distinguishes consoles and PC games from mobile games. It's similar to 
how big budget blockbuster cinema distinguish itself from streaming vi from streaming video contents. The console industry needs big AAA hits to stay viable in the mobile and streaming market. Look, it doesn't matter what platform you're on, whether you're on mobile, whether you're on your laptop, whether you're on desktop or PC. It doesn't matter what, what market you're in. The point is, video games are going to cost money to make. Period. And there's no loopholes and shortcuts. Like, like I was telling you when I was making my Wii U videos that there's no loopholes and shortcuts in video games. You know, you just have to make a profitable console to run video games. Video games are going to cost money to make. I don't, I don't care what platform you're on. Whether you're playing on Linux. Whether you're playing on, on Apple. Whether you're playing on Windows. Whether you're playing on Nintendo. Sony. Or or, or, or or Microsoft it doesn't matter man you're, you're gonna you're gonna it's, it's it cost them it costs money to make games bottom line man and there's no there's no shortcuts around it and there's no loophole so the best way to take care of that situation is just to pay for it simply because argue arguing about it you arguing about it you ain't gonna get nowhere you know and you and um and like I told you guys video games is what pushes the uh Video games is what is video games is the real monster behind the computer industry. If video games don't move, the computer industry don't move. We we would be still using Pentium twos and threes right now to do what we were doing. But since but since we got the but in order to keep the industry going, video game it pushes the industry. That's why you see these these console manufacturers. They make all these mother motherboards and video cards and memory and. I mean, hard drives to keep up with the high demands of video games. So, video games cost money to make, and video game cost money to play. There is no uh, there there is there is no loopholes or shortcuts around this, around the video game or, or in in the video game industry. This is why one of the reasons I got mad at Nintendo about about making the Switch because they were trying to look for loopholes and shortcuts and try and and, and try to skate by versus like. Like staying with the Wii U and put some real power behind the system and continue using it. You got to pay to play, man, when it comes to video games, man. You got to pay to play and you got to pay to develop games to get to keep the industry moving. If if the video game industry right now stop making games, the computer industry stop moving. Okay? The industry wouldn't even move. Okay? If people, 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 a lot of people would lose jobs, man. That's how bad it would it, it would be if we if if the if the video game industry stopped making video games period a lot of people would lose jobs lose their jobs okay we would need we we would need we would need these high end PCs to do what we're doing now we can just go back to the Pentium one and Pentium two and just call it a day okay video game is a real monster behind the behind the computer industry it's called entertainment. And in order to enjoy entertainment in this computer industry, you got to pay for it. Period. So that's just the way it is in console games. Games are gonna keep continue to cost money. When the PlayStation 6 and the next Xbox comes out, it's the same thing. Gotta pay to play. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link in the description box with this article. And it, it got some comments on there that you can read. But nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Dark Side. I'm gone. Peace.